One of my goals this year was to find new book series about the planets for my children's public school library. I had gone in there earlier this year and helped the librarian cull some old and outdated books, but they needed replacement, especially ones on Mars and Mercury, because we've had so much mission activity there. So I requested a lot of nonfiction series from publishers, and I found a few criteria to be useful. Obviously, there shouldn't be any major factual errors, but I wanted there to be things that would grab kids' attention, like wow facts about planets, and not just the same ones we've always heard about. I wanted to make sure that they discussed some recent science, that they mentioned that there was active exploration happening of all these places. But in addition to facts, I also really want books to represent the fact that we don't know everything about the planets, that the reason we have to keep exploring is that there are lots of questions that we don't have the answer to. And I think that's important both because it tells kids about what the process of science is and what it's for, and also I want to hold out the option for them that, hey, there's there's things that mm-hmm. you can grow up and answer. And so I had most of these uh, in the back of my mind. I also wanted to make sure that the pictures were good and that the exploration sections mentioned up-to-date missions, as well as not just NASA missions, but foreign missions. And this was a lot of criteria. And, you know, they're short books. They can't manage to hit everything. But I found two series that did very well, one uh, by the publisher Capstone and the other by Scholastic. I've always found Capstone books to be really excellent.